What's up everyone? My name is Ryan Pfeiffer and you're watching Shape and Explore. Today we're going to be making some DIY modern plant stands using copper pipe and plywood. These plant stands are perfect for elevating the look and storage capabilities of any household plant. Let's get started. I started off by measuring the dimensions of each flower pot. This will ensure that each pot fits within its respective stand, and I'll have links down below to the pots that I used. I then moved over to the table saw where I ripped down some plywood strips. These strips will form the main structure of each plant stand. I ripped two strips to be one and one quarter inches wide, and another two to be one and one eighth inch wide. You only need one strip at each width, but I made extra just in case. I then moved over to the chop saw where I used a stop block to make repeatable cuts. I cut two strips at 5 inches in length, and another two strips at 8 inches in length. Next, I marked the positions for the half lap joints. I found the center position, then marked the width of each strip, and I dialed in my table saw blade to be exactly half the height of each plywood strip. When cutting half lap joints on the table saw, I found it easiest to start on the outer edges, then move into the center and remove the remaining material. On my first attempt at making a half lap, the joint was a little too narrow, so I carefully remarked the pieces, then went back to the table saw to trim them down ever so slightly. The minor trimming led to a really snug fit, so I repeated this process on the smaller half lap as well. To form the legs of the plant stands, I wanted to use copper pipes. I used an offcut to find the rough position, then measured and marked the final positions where I would need to drill holes. For the large plant stand, I'll be using 3 quarter inch pipe, which requires a 7 8 inch bit. And for the small stand, I'll be using half inch pipe, which requires a 5 8 inch bit. I used my drill press to make nice clean holes. I took it slow and made sure that I used a backer board to prevent blowout. With the holes drilled, I then traced a gentle curve to round off the end of each piece. Then I used my disc sander to carefully match each curve. After that, I used wood glue to attach both halves of the plant stands. And I made sure to use plenty of clamps to hold everything together. While the glue dried, I used a pipe cutter to trim down the copper legs to their rough length. Then I polished the copper pipes using steel wool. Once the glue had cured, I removed the clamps and sanded everything down to 250 grit. After that, I did a test assembly of the legs to see how tall they needed to be to accommodate the pot. Once I found a suitable height, I recorded the measurement, then disassembled the test fitting. Then I mixed some two-part epoxy and applied it liberally to the copper pipes to hold them in place. I then installed all four legs and used a damp paper towel to wipe away any excess epoxy. After the epoxy had cured, I marked the final length of each leg. Then I trimmed the legs off using a pipe cutter and I repeated this process to the lower portions of the legs. I finished the legs off by using epoxy to attach copper end caps to the top and bottom. For the small stand, I started by attaching copper end caps to the tops of the legs, then pushing them through the frame and attaching end caps to the bottom as well. With everything assembled, I used Minwax Polycrylic in clear satin to seal the wood. This provides a nice low gloss finish. I did two coats and sanded lightly in between. With everything sealed and sanded, the planter stands were done. I hope that you enjoyed this project. This was my first attempt at making lap joints on the table saw, and I'm really happy with the way that they turned out. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up below, and feel free to leave any questions or comments there as well. I'd love to know what you thought of this piece. Also, if you want to stay updated on everything that I'm doing, follow me on Instagram, that's at Shape and Explore. If this is your first time to my channel, I'd like to say welcome, and also consider subscribing. That way you can stay up to date on all my newest builds. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time on Shape and Explore.